Now, couples could soon get married on a cruise or on a day out at the beach under proposals to tear up current restrictions on where weddings can be held. Some of the most significant changes to wedding law in England and Wales in more than 100 years will be set out today. Our religious editor, Ali McBall, has this report. Chelsea and Chris got engaged at this very spot earlier this year. They decided they wanted their wedding day to reflect their beliefs as humanists. But as the law stands in England and Wales, that wouldn't carry the same weight as, say, a Church of England wedding. At the moment, um, our humanist ceremony wouldn't be a legal ceremony. Um, so whilst we can have a humanist ceremony with our friends and family and that be our real wedding to us, we still need to go away separately and have a civil um, marriage. But that's just one of many things that had changed in what would be the most fundamental reform of wedding laws here in more than 150 years. Because our law is so old, it has restrictions in it on where people can get married and on what they have to have by way of a, a ceremony that simply doesn't work uh, for thousands of couples today. So rather than supporting people who want to get married, the law puts barriers in the way, and those barriers aren't serving any purpose. Sadly, many don't realise some of their religious wedding ceremonies aren't actually legally valid until they want a divorce. It's part of the reason for this review. But we hope what it means is that people who want to get married will more easily be able to have a legally recognised uh, wedding and that that will secure their rights. These are recommendations for now. The government has to give its response and then prepare a bill to go through Parliament. But on this news, there are already couples planning their wedding, hoping the new rules will be in place by the time it happens. That includes Chelsea and Chris, with their wedding planned <laughs> the next August. It, it would be massive uh, to be able to have our wedding to be legal and the, the whole piece to, to be... Um, sort of our commitment to each other in front of the people that we love and, and to, to make that the real wedding, um, it would mean the world to us. The plans have their critics, from those concerned it trivialises marriage to those who don't think it does enough to ensure more ceremonies are legal, but the Law Commission says it's trying to level the playing field on weddings. Aline McBall, BBC News in South London.